today's Monday. Monday means fill up the truck. Good afternoon and thank you for tuning into the channel. If you're new, uh, I'll ask you to please subscribe, like this video and comment and tell me what you think. Uh, today's video is more of like a busy vlog. So, uh, you saw me fill up the truck. I have to fill up, I had to fill up with diesel. I have to fill up with diesel exhaust fluid. I have to go pick up my train horn, which I'll show y'all here in a minute. I gotta stop by the tent shop to get a quote on tinting my windshield. And I have to just stop by another shop for powder coating and see if or when they can get my train horn bells, which I'll show you. They come chrome, I do believe. If they're black, that'll be magnificent. But if not, uh, they'll be chrome like they were last time. And I will have to get them powder coated, so I'll stop by there. But yeah, so today's vlog, just running around, doing a lot of stuff. Uh, just bringing y'all along for the ride. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this, the style of vlog. I got the GoPro set up on, on my, uh, my windshield right now. Uh, let me know if y'all like the angle. The angle, if you want to be on the left, you want to be on the right. I'll mix it up. Just let y'all uh, see what I'm working with here. Got to keep watching directions. Don't know where I'm going. Yeah, so I have to go pick up my train horn from UPS because uh, they attempted delivery twice, two days in a row. Both days I was home. One day I was home. The, the other day, me and my girlfriend were home and my dogs were inside. And the guy managed to knock and use the doorbell all without nobody hearing. And he was able to slap a sticker on the door without a trace. So, how? I don't know. But uh, I decided to schedule myself to pick it up because I have class and tests and some things and uh, go to the gym there's just uh, all the stuff I was doing today there's just no way I was gonna be home to to get it and I didn't want it to be shipped back because after the third day it gets shipped back and then I got to text Manny again and I got to pay for shipping for it to come back and it's just a bunch of crap that I don't want to have to do but we're about to be at the UPS store uh, once I get it, I'm going to open up the box, uh, show you all what's inside, uh, explain the kit, and uh, check out the bells. If so, we'll be heading over to uh, Texas Truck Riggins, and then uh, I think it's CJ's window tent to uh, get a quote on the windshield. For real, let me know if you like the left side or the right side better. So, the tent place is closed. Uh, I'll be going to uh, Texas Truck Riggins now. Once I get there, I'll uh, I'll open up the uh, the box so I can one so I can show it to them what I need done, and two I'm just gonna show y'all what's in the box. Uh, give y'all a quick rundown of uh, what you get when you buy from Horn Blasters. Uh, the kit that I have is the Admiral 540. Um, the only thing I don't like about the kit is that the horns come in a, like a circular fashion. They're, uh, they're mounted up in a circle. I'd rather them be flat. And of course, if they were already black, but that's not my call, that's theirs. That's how they get them. And uh, on my last truck, all I did was paint them white. I didn't move them around or flatten them or anything like that. So I'm just gonna keep them round again this time, which you'll see what I mean. And uh, I'm gonna powder coat them black. I'm telling y'all, this truck is gonna be the blackest truck ever. This is the Murder Max. I'm serious. Everything's gonna be black, except for the lights. The I can't can't use black light, but except for the lights, everything's gonna be black. This truck's gonna be sick. Uh, my truck fault is in, and it's going. It's set to be installed tomorrow. So uh, look out for another video, uh, sort of reviewing, kind of a first first impressions video. I'm not gonna be installing it. Texas Customs will be. So uh, I might not get any install footage, but uh, there will be a, just there'll be tons of footage of the walk around and the fitment and all the things like that. So if any of y'all in the market for that, uh, you'll be able to check them out as well, uh, the product at least. Just a quick thing, I went with the exact same train horn I got last time because uh, I'm real particular about my sound, right? Uh, I don't want a train horn that like squeaks or like cocks or honks or anything like that like I like a nice crisp sounding train horn and the Admiral 540 
just from the first time that I hit that button, it's the exact sound I wanted to hear from a train horn. So that's why I went with it the first time, and that's why I went with it again. I've heard other train horns. I don't like the way they sound. And uh, yeah, I didn't do any like crazy train horn videos last in the last truck. Uh, I plan to now when the truck is stock ish with the train horn because once it's lifted people aren't going to know it was me you know what I mean so if I scare some people make them pee themselves or you know give an old lady a heart attack or something just kidding I don't want to do that but uh, I can be incognito with uh, any other black uh, L5P Duramaxes but alright here's the horn all right guys, before we get started in this painfulness, let's just take a moment to appreciate this, this beauty of a, of a beast right here. But, <sighs> gotta do it man. Started running low, so had to get some. It sucks, but I mean, until there's tunes and deletes for an L5P, uh, it's just something we gotta deal with, you know? And a lot of people have been asking me when I'm gonna tune and delete my truck. There are no possible ways of deleting the L5P Duramax yet. There are some tuning options. Stay tuned. Uh, within the next week or so, I'll be tuning this truck. That's all I can say. So if you're interested in increasing your horsepower, not deleting, but increasing your horsepower uh, you'll want to stay tuned for that but I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and start pouring if you didn't know the def fluid access point is right here you can see where some has splashed before from other fillings and I mean all you do is you open that thing up and you pour it in there I mean it's not hard it's pretty self-explanatory it's really not hard. Uh, I mean, I could clickbait this into how to put death fluid into a Duramax or something like that, but you really, you open that and you pour it in there. So, I don't know, I'm gonna get to it. There you have it. That's how easy it is. Uh, I spilled some there at the end, but it's not that hard. You can just close it up and good to go. But like I said, nobody likes adding diesel exhaust fluid. Nobody. Nobody. If they say they do, they're lying. All right. But where's this thing at? One second. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get... Uh, train horn and show you all it a little bit all right guys so this is sort of an unboxing got the horn blasters here it's really just an unboxing of the horn itself I can show you all that put it on my handy dandy dog food holder what all's in here this that shirt all right so this box has some tubes which uh, that's a heavy-duty tube I'm gonna assume this is a uh, an air hose but this is this is a bad boy right here well so this is the horn for I don't know how many different train horns but this is the Admiral 540 horn this is the one that comes with it this has five, uh, I don't know if you call them bells or whatever you call them, but it has five horns and like I said, they're all in a circular fashion. So in a circle, so they're not flat, which makes it a little bit harder to conceal under the truck. But I mean, really you don't, you don't even notice. Dude, this thing weighs like 30 pounds. I don't know. If y'all if y'all are into train horns, obnoxious horns, horns that are 
too loud for your own good that you don't even need but you still want it anyways. Horn blasters is the way to go. This kit right here retails for like uh, $8.50 or so. And like I said, this kit has the best sound out of any of the train horns I've heard. Now, I, I wouldn't know what it sounded like if you had two of them or anything like that. And I haven't heard any of like the super high dollar, like $2,000 kits. Like I said, this one retails for like $900. Bucks. This is a high quality, very loud, extremely, the, uh, the pump fills the tank extremely quick. So you can hit your horn, you can lay on it, and then before you know it, I mean, you're gonna hear the the pump filling up, but other than that, fills up extremely quick, and you're able to just you can lay on this horn as much as you want. So on my last truck, I had a little toggle switch. Thinking in this one, I might connect it to my actual horn, and then have a flip, like a like I guess a toggle switch that I can go for like inspections and stuff, and I can have it hidden, and I can turn it on from like a normal horn or this. So, I mean. I, don't, I wouldn't mind having them both on, but I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, contradicting or, I don't know, it just, it doesn't sound right whenever you have a, the normal horn and the train horn. Really, I like one or the other, and I want to have that option, so uh, that's all I'm going to tell them to wire it up this time around. But, as Horn Blaster says, don't blow your temper, blow your horns. Oh, thanks for the shirt, by the way, Manny, really appreciate it. My garage is slowly filling up with more and more truck stuff and hunting stuff it's it's ridiculous i got a whole mcgoy's lift kit i mean I'm, i literally have this open and then this and we were cooking and cleaning in the kitchen so that if the ups guy pulled up he couldn't just dash away we could see him we come out here and get him you know what i mean but i don't know that's probably gonna wrap it up i was gonna try and see if i could have the tank here but i guess i'll just have to show you all the tank in another video that sucks i'm sorry but all right guys just as i was about to give up i took out all my sd cards started importing stuff ups driver shows up i have it so i can show y'all the full kit now everything this is the admiral 540 <sighs> this thing's a beast All right, so what we have here is the Admiral 540. This is the five horn bell, whatever you want to call it, round system that they have, right? So it's got five, a bunch of foam and stuff in there. They're all connected, bam. Then we have the five gallon compressor tank. This thing holds a lot of air. Like you can wail, like you can, you can, you can hit this horn for a long time, probably longer than you should hit a train horn around people or in public or anything like that. Here is, I don't know how you say this, uh, Vi Air, I'm assuming because it says your vital air source. So I'm going to assume that's Vi Air, vital air. That's the compressor. This thing's not quiet, I will say. Uh, if you hit the compressor long enough, or you hit the you hit the train horn long enough, and the compressor kicks on, uh, you can hear it. You can hear it in the vehicle, and uh, I mean, that's just that's just part of it. Sometimes, whenever you turn your truck on, the compressor will come on, and it, or yeah, it'll come on, and it'll kind of startle you because you won't be expecting anything like that to happen. I remember the first time it kicked on after I I it, it didn't kick on until after. I came home, turned the truck off, the next day I turned it on, and I was freaking out because I had no idea what the sound was because I hadn't heard it yet, and didn't even didn't even cross my mind that it was the compressor. So it might startle you, but it will kick on and you will hear it. And then the rest of this is just cords, parts, fuses, there's a little toggle switch, 
caps and extenders and males and females to males and females and covers and all sorts of stuff and I don't even know what that thing is. Then we have a big air hose. But this is it. This is going to the paint shop. Yeah. I told him, like I said, to just I told him just take the gun, just spray the thing. I'm not gonna be spraying this because it's already black. Uh, there'd be no need, it'd be a waste of money. And uh He's pretty swamped right now, so it's probably gonna be about two weeks or so, maybe even three before this gets installed because a uh, big storm came through, like I said, with all the hail. And uh, he's he's also a, a he's a paint and body shop, and he does a lot of uh, insurance repair stuff. So he is swamped with uh, hail dings and dents and things like that. And he just brought in ceramic coating, which I'm thinking about ceramic co ceramic coating the truck. And if I do, I will do it there, but between like he said he has like 20 vehicles to ceramic coat and then all the hail damage he said he's swamped he said he's rented out the two buildings next to him just so he had extra space to like store vehicles and stuff so it's crazy over there anything painted but uh, we'll get this done we'll get this installed and we will we will have hilarious train horn videos i cannot wait to make content for horn blasters thank you manny from horn blasters for hooking me up with this if y'all want his information, if y'all want Horn Blasters information, their Instagram, their website, all that stuff will be linked down below. It'll be the second link in the in the, in the description. The first link is going to be ChevyOffroading.com because, if you didn't know, we have tons of shirts in stock. This is the, I guess, like the royal blue with the black Chevy Offroading flag shirt. We have tons, tons of shirts in stock, tons of designs. We have rock lights, light bars, anything you can think of. We have it, ChevyOffRoading.com. Right now, we're doing a $500 giveaway. All right, let me just set the tone for this. This is sort of a test run. If we get enough entries and I give away the $500 and there is good feedback on the giveaway, uh, it'll progress, it'll upgrade. The end result, I mean, Maybe two or three years, a couple hundred thousand subs, it might be a vehicle or a truck or something like that. But me and Texas Customs, Chris over at Texas Customs, have been thinking, and we were thinking about doing like a uh, like a budgeted, like a like maybe five, six thousand dollar like lift tires, wheels, free installation, like whole whole shebang, like truck transformation thing, and uh, every five dollars gets you entered to win, right? But we have to have good feedback on this one. So shirts are for sale, lights are for sale, light bars are for sale, and we'll see how it goes. If it goes good, there's good feedback. Y'all say y'all want that giveaway, you know what I mean? It, it could literally be, you know, s some random person's dream truck build pretty much because uh, the, way we, the way we were thinking about doing it was a, like a set amount, you know, like five or six or seven thousand, however much, right? And we would, we would allow them, whoever the winner was, to pick and choose where they wanted to spend their money. You know, I mean, if you want to spend five thousand dollars on wheels and get a thousand dollar rough country lift, you know, it's all on you. You know what I mean? Nobody's judging. Nobody. Not even me. Not even. Me. Okay, I'm judging, but, but, you know what I mean. So you could have how do I say it? you'd have you'd have anything you want to to buy with that five thousand dollars lift tires wheels if you wanted to run a train horn if you any, anything like that you could budget how you wanted free installations at Texas Customs if you can get down here if not then we will ship all the items to you uh, shipping would be expensive I'll probably cover it you know but We'll ship all the items, and you can have a shop of your choice install them, but we can't pay for that install, or we don't know how we'll do that yet. We're thinking about it. But like I said, if you're interested in anything like that, pick up a shirt, pick up some rock lights, you know, leave a comment on this video. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you'd like, or uh, just just tell me tell me what you would want to win. You know, $500 is kind of bland. You know, I, mean, I thought about going, giving away a GoPro, maybe something you could start your own YouTube channel with, something like that. But you know, $500 is universal. You could buy whatever you want. You could buy an Xbox. You could buy 
you buy a train horn with it. You, you can buy whatever you want with $500. I wanted to give y'all the freedom to choose whatever you wanted. But that's kind of where the budget comes into play with the, like, we'll just call it the dream truck build something. Dream truck build giveaway or something like that. And I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Uh, I'm down. I'm into it. But it would, the first one would need a lot of support. And the, the second giveaway would need even more support, obviously. But let me know what y'all think. Like I said, ChevyOffRoading.com. Hornblasters, Hornblasters.com, Hornblasters Manny. Thanks for this. If you want a horn, I'd go with Hornblasters. Don't blow your temper. Blow your horn. If you enjoyed this video, uh, if you liked the GoPro footage as I was driving, let me know. Leave a comment. If you would like to see more videos and you would like to subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'm about to hit 3,000 subs. Next is 5, then 10, then 15, then 20. You know, it's it's on from there. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, that's really awesome. Uh, watch time, uh, audience retention on these videos isn't too high yet. Uh, Y'all are still kind of, lots of the viewers are still kind of feeling out the content and whatnot. And I know I appreciate it. But if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, I want you to have a great day. Into the giveaway, like I said, if it receives good enough support, we'll be giving away bigger, better items, and eventually, as I think I'm gonna call it, like the dream truck build giveaway. And, I don't know. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Y'all have a great day.